I've often said that efficiency and decluttering are like my hobbies and I stand by that. So when I had the idea to do a decluttering before Christmas video for Vlogmas, I was exceedingly happy. It seems like every year for the past few years around Christmas time, I always get this desire to go through and declutter my whole house and just get rid of things. So of course, the more often I do that, the less there is to clear out because I usually end up doing it two or three times a year, but especially around Christmas time, right when I get back from Christmas, sometimes the night that I get home after driving for eight, eight and a half hours from Iowa back to Oklahoma City, I think I just want to be productive and now it's time for turning over a new leaf. It's time for the new year. And so I hop out of my car I bring everything in from my trunk and the next thing I do is get busy decluttering stuff. So I thought, well, what about this year for Vlogmas instead of waiting until after Christmas? What if I do it before Christmas for Vlogmas? I'm very, very excited about this prospect. So I'm here at Target. I'm going to do the Target drive up because there are a few very inexpensive storage items like storage containers that I've known would be super helpful to me for years. But I know that these really simple changes would help maintain the decluttering efforts better and for longer. So we're going to go ahead and pick our stuff up from Target. What I'm going to do for now, I decided is a one hour decluttering challenge where I will try to go through things quickly, you know, pull things out of a closet quickly and make some pretty fast decisions. So let's do it. And let's see what I can get done decluttering in one hour. This is the biggest decluttering opportunity. And I'm just like, come on, I can do better than this. So these tubs have not worked out that well for storing all of this stuff. So I'm gonna make, the, I'm gonna declutter and I'm gonna put this in more appropriate storage so that this can stay neat consistently and I can find things more easily. Goodness gracious. And honestly, this under the sink, this has room for improvement as well. I guess it's funny to say about 17 minutes. This took me exactly precisely 17 minutes. Not bad. It looks so good. And then a bunch of stuff is now under the sink because I reorganized that storage too. This makes me so happy. The next thing I'm going to tackle is this closet. Oh, my little cart is in the way. This closet tends to remain pretty well organized, but some of the stuff is just sort of, it just needs to be put in better containers. By saving this closet for last, I've actually freed up several storage containers, which is really what this closet needs. Pretty good. I'm really pleased with how this came together. I am over an hour now, but I have tackled both closets, the uh, random tech 
basket. Uh, all of the bathroom storage. Really the only thing I haven't gotten to yet is decluttering my closet um, and then like shoes and scarves and things like that. I think I definitely have it in me to go for a little while longer. I keep my wardrobe pretty well organized. Not a whole lot of extraneous stuff here, but I haven't really gone through it in a while. And there's definitely some things that I can get rid of and uh, give away to a very worthy organization. I've got a couple of dresses and some really nice tops that are in good condition and suitable for work, but I just never wear them. So I'm gonna donate these to a great organization that partners with the Dragonfly Home and they help women uh, prepare for job interviews with clothing, uh, prepare their resumes and with other job skills and like interviewing skills. So it's a real honor to be able to donate these items to such a worthy cause. I am making such great progress, if I could say so myself. It hasn't been quite two hours yet, about an hour and a half, and I am down to the last thing, which I don't think I even mentioned in my tour, but I got these cube storage containers with like scarves and accessories and shoes. Ooh, I have an accessory container too. So I'm gonna go through all of this stuff because as much as I like some of these items, I haven't worn them in so long. So I have to keep in mind that there's a reason why I haven't worn some things in the last two years, but also be realistic about whether I'll actually ever wear them. And then some things I think I need to put in my memory box. So I'll show you some of that. I got these scarves on a trip to Scotland. They're so beautiful. Um, I don't wear them a whole lot. They're kind of itchy wool, honestly, but I can't bear to part with them because they mean so much. And this is the tartan of the McPhee clan, which is my heritage. So definitely putting this one in the memory box. I got these scarves in France. I, there's no way that I am parting with them because they're really nice too. Like I haven't worn them recently, but the, these are the kind of things that I will put in the rotation. This makes my eyes look super blue. This is such a pretty purple color. Definitely hanging on to these. <clears throat> this scarf was my mom's. And when I was a kid, I loved playing dress up with it. It's not exactly right for my complexion, but it's so pretty. It made me feel really grown up and elegant. So definitely keeping this. I bought this scarf in France as well in the mall in Poitiers, France that my friends and I would meet at every Wednesday. On Wednesdays, we had short days teaching. So my friends from the surrounding communities would all come in like from literal French villages. They'd take the train into Poitiers, which is the major city of the area where I lived. And I just love it. It's like this beautiful turquoise sparkly scarf. Have I really ever worn it? I mean, a couple times, not any time recently, but there's no way I'm getting rid of it. Into the memory box.